gonna try to do today is put the fig tree into perspective of this big evolving media world out there. I started as a reporter at the Inlander in 1998. <clears throat> at the time, all newspapers were afraid that they were gonna be turned into TV stations. Because nobody was gonna make the paper anymore. What we conveniently forgot about was this thing called the internet, which was really what we should have been worried about, but we didn't at that time. One of the things that's essential to a sound and healthy media landscape in your community is a paper like the fig tree. Mary and her staff does an incredible job covering the stories that we don't always get to. Now we don't get to the stories because we don't care. We do care. Those of us who write for the newspaper, we care deeply about the community that we live and work in. The only thing we have is the trust, you know, that you will call me and tell me what's going on. We, we're very connected to the community, but unless we want to work many, 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 many extra hours for free, we only have so much time. So one of the things that the fig tree does is it picks up wonderfully, beautifully, a lot of the smaller stories that probably, I mean, if it was, I had my way, they should be in the paper, right? But we just can't always make it. And so this is really a wonderful resource, and thank you so much, because I know how hard you work. And <laughs> if you're, think of your media consumption the same way. Support, if you don't remember anything else of what I said, support the media that you would like to see. Don't click on all the crap, okay? There is so much of it out there. We're in a market right now, we're in a time right now where anybody with a business card and a computer or a cell phone can be a reporter. It is so important that we support newspapers like the Fig Tree, the papers, the outlets that have credibility. Credibility, right? It's a big, big word. Think about that when you read stuff, when you talk to people, when you listen to the radio. Who, who, where did this come from? Is this somebody I know? I mean, why should I listen to this? Can you tell I have some passion about this? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so please continue to support the Big Tree. They do just a wonderful job. I steal Mary's stories sometimes. I know we, I hope we pay you when we run your stories in the paper. Oh, we pay you, okay. <laughs> I would be like, no, 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 please don't do that you. So occasionally I'll find a story and get an idea, and occasionally we'll pick up a story from Mary and we put it in the paper, and I really hope we can continue to work together like that. I would love to help your writers too, if I could. It's uh, just a wonderful project. So be generous if you can, and thank you so much for having me here today. I really appreciate it, and have a wonderful Friday.